Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite demand and supply planning. We're currently on my dashboard where I'm logged in as a supply chain administrator. First, we'll calculate item demand plans by clicking the demand planning link. On the calculate item demand plans page, we'll select our projection method from four choices, linear regression, moving average, sales forecast, or seasonal average. We'll select our projection interval, and then we'll enter our projection duration and our historical analysis duration. If there is not enough historical data available for an item, we can select the alternate source item from the existing data master. Then we'll select the items we want to calculate and click Submit twice. Let's take a look at the item supply planning parameters on one of our items. We'll do this by going to the recent records and selecting Edit for the BLD200. To utilize supply planning, we'll want to make sure that the replenishment method is set to time phased. The planning parameters are listed on the location subtab. Here we can configure our lead times, our safety stocks, our lot sizing methods, our supply type, and our demand source for each location. Available lot sizing methods are fixed lot size, lot for lot, and periods of supply. Available demand source options are entered and planned orders, forecast and orders, forecast consumption, and forecast from demand plan. In order to generate supply plans, I go back to my dashboard. And here I'll select my supply planning link. On the generate item supply plan page, I can select the proper location and I can modify my horizon. In this case, I'd like to go out to the end of the year. Then I'll select all the items I want to generate supply plans for and click submit. In order to view the current inventory plan for the fan blade, we'll go back to it from my recent records. Then we'll click on the supply chain snapshot. The supply chain snapshot provides me with a time phased inventory balance, my current on hand inventory, along with any future supply transactions, and any inner demand. It's important to note that these are planned purchase orders generated from our supply plan. In order to execute these planned orders, we'll go back to the dashboard. POs are created on our order item screen, which is linked here. Here we can see purchasing recommendations generated from the item supply planning process. The planner can review all the requirements, select the items they want to purchase, and click submit to generate the purchase orders. When I go back to my dashboard, I can click my mass create work orders link. Here I can view the supply plan recommendations for work orders. The planner can select all the orders they want to create and click Submit to automatically create the work orders. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.